found a kind of a cool place. I'm actually not too far off the road here. But it's like near, uh, you can see back here, kind of a clear cut area right over my shoulder there. Up here, this is up uh, on Larch, Larch Mountain, up on the Columbia Gorge. We had kind of a clear day today, and so I thought I'd come up here and uh, try to make a video and get some good shots of the of the gorge. But down at all the viewpoints, it just it's you know Thursday afternoon and it's just packed, packed with people. There goes a car. There's a, there's a road down there so I'm up on the road going up to Larch Mountain and I went all the way up up to the top there and actually it goes high enough that it went up the the, the cloud decks pretty low so I went up through the cloud deck to get up there but And there were still people up there. <laughs> so, but I saw this place uh, driving up and I, I uh, decided to pull off the side of the road. Lots of old, old growth, downed trees. And, uh, and then, like I said, out over here, you can, you can see where it was kind of clear cut a long time ago. I was hoping when I got out here that it would be another good view of the gorge, but the gorge is just, there's kind of like a little valley right here and then another another ridge there. So I think I'd have to go down there to see it from here. But I'll get, I'll get some video there at some point. I actually wanted to make a video as a VR. My first video response to the one that's going on that everyone's doing and it's an interesting one it's a actually a really good question because it's not that easy it seems like it should be pipe and tabix question which is if you could only buy three tobaccos to rest last you the rest of your life what would they be? So I, I have my answer, but the, I have another answer that I kind of mulled about and thought about, but I decided to go with these other ones instead. <clears throat> so the first one is, is Black House, and I think that was on a few people's list. I remember Cobbett of the Shire mentioning that. That would have been on his list, except it's a little hard to get where he's at in the UK. So uh, I would des definitely, depending on what day of the week you ask me, that's my favorite. But uh, it's just my tastes are constantly changing, it seems. so. Uh, but that's definitely one of my favorites, and I'll stock up on it, and I can send you some, Cobbett, if, if, uh, if you can't get any. <laughs> and then uh, another favorite of mine is, is uh, Balkan Supreme. Uh, that's a, a great one to get in bulk. Black House, I haven't seen it in bulk. I don't think it's in bulk. I think it only comes in in tins. <clears throat> but um, Bulk and Supreme, it's kind of the same vein, but uh, a little milder, it seems like. So, again, depending on, the, on my mood at the time, that really hits the spot. And then my last one uh, is a, is a, a long-time favorite. Um, but I, I felt like I needed to throw in an, an aromatic in there because I, I do like aromatics as well, uh, de depending on what the mood, mood strikes. So uh, Sir Walter Raleigh aromatic, the aromatic Sir Walter Raleigh. That's a good one. I really like it. And, uh, and that's another reason, you know, for aromatics is... Uh, uh, sometimes Balkans don't aren't always crowd pleasers, and uh, at least my wife and my family they like like Sir Walter arrows. So that's I'll throw that one in. 
what I was thinking about, my three options were where I was going to pick Orlick Golden Sliced, Pirate Cake, and then some kind of burly, like, like even like an over-counter, like Prince Albert. And because those are all good. Those are all really enjoyable ones <clears throat> um, on their own. But you can, you know, you can, you can mix and match with those two, you know, and kind of build your own blends. But, um, I think, I think the three that I went with are the ones that, that I'm going to go with. And so, uh, anyway, check out Pipe and, and Tobacks, Pipe and Toback, uh, his, his channel. That's, uh, it's, it's a newer one for me. Um, I'd subscribed to it before he, he did the the giveaway, um, but uh, it's still a, a newer one for me, but I'm catching up on his videos, and he's got a lot of really good information, and just his style is, is really good, too. So that's definitely uh, a good one to check out if you, if you just, for some reason, are subscribed to my channel and not subscribed to his. I doubt that's probably the case, but uh, definitely check it out. Uh, a lot of good stuff there. So anyway, hope you guys have a good day and take care. Bye. Okay, so I stopped again up here at this viewpoint. Now there's hardly anybody here. In fact, there's nobody here. So probably seeing pictures of this. You got... That's the Vista House there. And then off in the distance, on the other side of the river there, that's Beacon Rock. Over there, that's a nice hike to the top of that. And uh, I think that's Rooster Rock, but I'm not entirely sure. I think that is. There's a, there's a park down there. And uh, yeah, so I was up kind of on the other side of this ridge here up up a uh, enlarged mountain I'm not sure I think I think it's beyond beyond that far farther ridge there but anyway thought I'd since I had a chance to get up here and take a little video I'd I'll tack this on to the end of my my other one take care guys